Hey guys, me the Firefox here, and as you probably read in the title, today we're going to be making another custom! So the custom we're going to be making today is actually for a friend that we call Ken. Anyway, so back to the point of this video. So my friend has written down on a piece of paper how she wants me to customize this horse right here. And we're going to be doing that, and you're going to watch. Why? Because you can. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Because you can. So, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to customize. Let's get started. Hmm. I actually found decent lighting for over here. Like, this is amazing. Well, um, let's get started. For since it was the closest to me and the easiest to get, I'm using rubbing alcohol, but nail polish remover should also work. So I'm just going to right now take off the music symbol on her forehead and the LPS sign on the back of her head. So the main purpose of this was just to make it smooth and the reason you can still see it is because it was a very 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 bright and they used a lot of paint on it color and um, since the pony was such a light color you can still see it and it was really hard to get off and none more of it will come off so let's get to the paint. So for the coat color, I will be mixing a little bit of Mars Black with some raw sienna, and, um, yeah. Okay, so this is what happened. I started painting, and I've done about four layers on the head, and apparently I wasn't recording. That's how unobservant I am. So, this is what I've done so far, and I'm probably going to do one more layer, and I'll show you. It's still drying right now, so I'm just trying to, eh, yeah, one second, yeah. So this is all I've done so far, it's just, I've done most of the head and it's pretty smooth still. Obviously the eyes I'm going to redo and the mane isn't as good because I'm going to paint that black. So that's that so far. So after this I'm going to do just one more layer and then I'll actually remember to record painting the body. Yeah. So this is the head, um, I'm pretty sure it actually turned out a lot better than most of my other customs. So now I'm gonna actually record this time and I'm gonna record doing the first layer of the body and then I'll probably just finish it myself, but... So, let's do that! Okay, so we're gonna start. We're just gonna have a light layer at first. I'm actually just gonna go over the hooves because it's just a lot easier and then I'll color them later. Also, listen to something while doing this so that the next couple layers will be a little bit easier to go through. It helps to go the same direction, like, you see how I got one sideways on this? That's okay, but like, then you wanna probably go back over and just go straight up and down since that's the way I'm going for the rest of these. It was hard to reach places. The first layer is going to look really, really watery. That's a good thing. It's look watery. It looks shiny. So if it looks too shiny, then just dab it off a little bit and keep going. So we're just going to go around. Sorry, I'm being a little bit silent. So we're just not going to go. Just going to the bottom. I'm going over the saddle too, but really, I'm just doing that so it's a little bit easier. I probably shouldn't be doing that because I'm going to paint it a lighter color, but that doesn't matter right now. So, a little bit more paint. So, let's go on to the next layer. Okay, so now we're starting with the final layer. So, we're just getting through all the stuff and it looks smooth. Then you're going to mess up in the drying process. We're just going to find some stuff. Those are feel, you know, we're doing stuff. Shh. I'm just going to do things up in the street. I'm going to move this around. See how it helps it. I found a firm balance and make more of the easy circles. Turn around. Okay, this way. Yeah, I'm going to be done. But we can do that now, I guess. So we're just getting it really good. Just going around, making sure every little section is painted.
Okay, so these are the legs and the face so far. I think it's turning out really, really good compared to my other two cusp, th technically three customs that I made before. So next what we're going to do is we're going to do the tail, the mane, and the base of the saddle. Because the saddle is going to be black and pink. So since the mane and the tail are going to be black, we're going to also paint that at the same time. And then of course we're going to go back over any mistakes we made. Okay, so we're just going to... Hmm. So we're just gonna paint it now with the tail first. This is actually like, a really pretty. I like her design that she thought of in her head. See, so like this? I don't know why I'm asking. Put it in the comments if you really like the design that she's making up. Because she's completely decided what this is gonna look like. The colors. Um, she's actually gonna add an extra design in the middle, which she asked me to add, so I'm gonna have to do that later. So I'm gonna finish doing this. I'm gonna do the hooves. I'm gonna do the saddle. And I'm gonna do the mane. And I'll be back later. You probably didn't hear it in the recording because it was going so fast, but I went off and I finished the mane, the saddle, the hooves, and the tail. So now all that's left to do is the eyes and the design on the saddle and a little star on the forehead. So let's get started with the saddle. So I ended up finishing doing the ears and doing the saddle. I actually had to end up using a very small brush that I had to borrow uh, to get that fine detail. So now all we have to do is the eyes and the star on the forehead. So I'm thinking we're going to do the eyes first just in case we get anything and anyway, we won't actually get in the star or blur the star or do something stupid like I'm going to do. So what's going to happen is it's going to be the same except for the purple is going to be white obviously and where the really light green is it's going to be a darker turquoise. I'll show you when I make the color. So I ended up doing the eyes off camera and this is what they turned out to be like. I hope it's what she wanted. So being lazy the person I am, I already have the paintbrush dipped and I'm going to do the star on the forehead with you guys now and I'm not even going to record so it doesn't die again because that would be sad. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep this here and this is more of a slanted paintbrush that way it's easier to make straight lines in my opinion, I don't know, I'm just weird. So it's not going to be the best in any sort of way. You know what? I'm going to go off camera and fix this because it's off centered and being stupid. So this, you guys, is the final design. I really hope she likes it. There's the star on its forehead, the hair, the saddle, the hooves. <laughs> So I really hope she likes it, and the reason I was making this for her mainly is because... So out of my LPS collection, I actually only have one Kali, which is... I don't think I've ever actually shown it in video, but it's that brown Kali. Anyway, <laughs> so she traded me this Kali, and I was so happy. I had to repaint the nose, that's why it looks a little darker. But... I was so happy when I got this, and I thought it was okay, because I didn't really like the horse at the time, and I wanted this more. <laughs> so I really hope she likes it, and I'm really happy my custom skills have gotten better since the last one. As you can see, there aren't nearly as many bumps, especially as on the deer one. I was actually really happy at how this turned out, especially the eyes. I'm usually really sloppy on the eyes. So... I'd like to see you guys in the next video. Bye! And don't forget, let your light shine!